Huskies back again with more Seattle Bobcats GM mode franchise mode commentary. Um, what you're looking at right now is the only goalie trade I have gotten to work in the past 45 minutes. Um, there is nothing that I can do to get this trade through. I mean, I have it set so this trade goes through. The only issue is, I guess it's not the trade, it's the fact that I went through every single team, and out of 30 teams, there's only two 90 overall goalies in the league six years in, that being John Gibson and Brayden Holpe. There's a couple 88s and 89s, like Carey Price is an 88, but he's unhappy. Like if I go to, if I hit A on him. Um, he's unhappy because he's not getting playing time, this gravel kid is. Um, what I've, what this has told me is that there was no progression for goaltenders in this game. Um, so, it's good to know for the future. I know, uh, I know what I have to do to make my future ones work. Will you take Paul Postma for somebody shitty? Um, I'm trying to free up some of my cap space here. So if I can bring somebody back that has like no cap hit. That still doesn't do, I still have to send people down, don't I? I have to move down Carlson. I don't want to move Carlson down, so I would have to... Can I work something else out here? Can you give me... Oh, these guys are too valuable. Stefan Mateau. How much do you make? You make 2 million. Power forward. I'm going to try to make a deal here that I can... Um, save some cap because what I don't want to do is have to send somebody down immediately. The only issue is I don't really have anybody I can trade to save cap here. Like I would love to trade castles, but he's hurt. Let's see if they'll take him. So Castle's quick, a second and a first for Price and Mateau. Post, all right, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not thrilled with trading Castles, but at the same time, he's a fourth line center. Um, I have to send, I think, one person down. I can probably get away with just sending him down. Wait, what? What was that? Yeah, I know I'd be able to salary cap. I won't be able to salary cap though. Are we doing this garbage again, man? I won't be over the cap if I send them down. I hate that it does this, man. Um, these moves result in your team being over the NHL salary cap limit, but they won't. Like, it's... I really wish they gave me... This is what I was trying to avoid. Now, if I call him up and send down Postma and this guy... Come on! This is going to drive me fucking bonkers, man. Uh, I'm still over... The, I don't understand how I'm over the cap if in the bottom left corner... It tells me I'm just fine cap space wise. Look at that, six hundred thousand in cap space. Like I don't. Now, do I take a chance? So I think Jerry Tolusi gets claimed. I really don't. And he got claimed. Of course he got claimed. Why? Why the fuck wouldn't he? Mm. I need to call up a defenseman, though. That worked because he's a two-way. He has a two-way contract. The same can be said for this Olsen kid. Oh no, never mind. I can't call him up. He makes a million. I want to call up another forward, but I don't think I can. Who do I have up here right now? I have one extra player. Alright. 
I really don't want to best lines this, so I'm just gonna slot Stefan Mateau right in here. He's a power forward. So my fourth line is now two way playmaker power forward. I really don't mind that, to be honest with you. Then we have Carey Price to be our starting goalie. 88 overall. His stats aren't the best, but Montreal isn't a very good team. Um, when he made the playoffs, he was lights out. I mean, he only made it twice, but he was lights out in both of them. I think deep cup runs in both. So he's going to be our goalie going forward. Um... I'm a tad upset that somebody claimed Yuri Talusi, but oh well. I mean, there's. It's not like I lost Adam Lowry or something like that again. There, there were worse options that could have happened. All right, so there we go. So we're 26, 17, and five right now. Um, I moved. Uh, what's my team chemistry at? 81. So my chemistry actually went up after that trade. I'm surprised by that. I didn't think my chemistry. Would go. We were 79 before that trade. Now we're 81. A couple guys, uh, Quick was only friends with, he was friends with three people. Uh, Kachuk was one. I think Patan and Lemieux were the other ones. But that's fine. That's not an issue. As a whole, we're fine. As I'm sure there was, yeah, for trading for a star player, a carry price. Yeah, so we're good. Go ahead and, uh, I swapped Shifley and Monahan back to their original roles. So Shifley's back on the first line, Monahan's on the second line. Uh, as for, I mean, I would like to see some more depth scoring. Like, my second line has two guys with 12. Uh, Godolman's still struggling. I'm surprised he's still struggling. I don't. I didn't think he would be. Uh, Mateau was a minus. Oh, right, I was going to change that deep pairing. Because uh, the larson Warinski thing isn't working. Yeah, so what that trade taught me is that I need to edit some goalie ratings for the future. Because like I said, we're six seasons in, and um, every single team doesn't have a goalie like above 84. Like, I understand. I'm not expecting every team to have a good goalie, but when there's only two 90 overall goalies in the entire league, that's rough. That's a bit rough. So we'll go ahead and choose sim to the trade deadline and see if our goalie changes and our, def our little moves here make any difference. We're going to lose the first game. Yep, always do. Locker room chemistry is 83. It was 84. Now again, this team is... I, I don't... This team shouldn't lose games. They really shouldn't. And it's frustrating that we do. But I can't even like throw shade at my goaltending right now because we're not scoring. Alright, that one's 7-6. to six. I can throw shade at my goaltending. All right, so since making those trades, we've lost six straight. Seven straight? Hey, we beat Philadelphia. Still, we lost six straight. One in overtime. That's not real confident building. Seven of eight. Eight of nine. Nine of ten. Hey, we beat Dallas. Oh, boy, man. Um... I'm, I don't need any more players. My AHL team's doing amazing. 34, 13, and 6. That's really, honestly, that's where our sh record should be. This is fucking stupid, man. I just, I don't get it. Holy fuck, man. Our bottom 6 crashed. They've been awful. Zach Rinsky's a minus 14. Larson's still a minus 6. I mean, maybe I need to put Marinsky on the second pairing and move Larson back down. Or I just need to bench Warinsky.
Yeah, I'm just gonna Ben Swarinski. I have that extra D-man he's gonna play. Yeah, we're gonna see if he's any better, because Swarinski sucks. Count foot's a plus nine. Heyman X a minus four. Maybe if I throw Seth Jones down here, plus 13. Okay, price is a 9. Fuck it, we're going with Carter Hart for the rest of the season. Something just, I don't, I don't get it, man. We're still in a playoff spot somehow. We lost 9 of 10 or something stupid like that. We're still in a playoff spot. We shouldn't be. We don't deserve to be in a playoff spot after that. Seven to four loss. Here comes another loss to Nashville. Fuck off ticket prices. I don't care. Hey, we won a game. And our Timmy Panarin gets hurt. I hate this game. I absolutely fucking hate this game. We finally start winning games. And arguably my most... My, like... Most consistent forward gets hurt. For Tommy Panarin's back, that's good, but he's not ready yet. Can we please beat Vancouver? They're terrible. Thank you. All right, so there's a. Did I not hit? I hit. Now he's gonna be upset, isn't he? I'm gonna be so upset. Stop the fucking sim. I'm getting real frustrated right now. Real frustrated. Because now I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna swap out the defenseman that's currently playing forward, Zach Orinsky. Far too Panarin. Every time Panarin's probably gonna be upset. Okay, no, he's still happy. Good. I was gonna be real upset if he got pissed off. Mateo's not thrilled about his ice time. I'm actually gonna swap Lemieux and Mateau and see if that changes anything. They're the same role, but maybe just a shakeup. All right, so we're pretty we're pretty handily in a playoff spot now. Those that the run we just went on was pretty needed. Um, I don't know why I went here. I wanted to go to my arena, but seventy eight points for Patrick Laine, sixty five for Kachuk. All right, so they're back to a plus. My bottom six is struggling. Nick Patan's got thirty points. Um, yeah, the bottom six, the top six is rolling right now, firing on all cylinders. We might have six sixty point guys. Monahan, again, he's there for defense more than he is offense. Buck goaltending. How's Carter Hart doing? 4 and 2 at a 148. 950 saves. I wonder if he's still the goaltender. Alright, I have to fix my arena here real quick. I don't know if I have any money to fix my arena. I don't. I have a decent amount here. And I can take away from my advertising. There we go. And so I wonder how I fix that goalie issue going forward. If I just edit prospects to have a better potential. Because, I mean, nobody progressed. I mean, Thatcher Dumko's an 87. Um, there's a goaltender in Carolina. I can never say his name. It starts with an N. Who usually progresses really well. He didn't. He's not even playing. So I need to I need to figure that out for my next two GM modes I do. I was going to check to see if Carter Hart was still the goaltender. Alright, so since making the change to Carter Hart. We're tearing through teams. Team chemistry is up to 85. We've won seven in a row, 11 out of 12, 13 out of 14. Oh, shoot out, lose. Shoot out, lose. But fuck, shoot out, loss. We have nine overtime losses. I would like to see some of those be wins, you know. If we can keep this run going into the playoffs, I like our chances. We're looking, we're looking good. I'm hoping this is Carter Hart just playing like an animal.
Although our scoring has been doing, our scoring has been up there. Let me accept. Good old man. April 26th. Fuck off. So he's going to miss the entire first round. Oh, God damn it. Sorry, it happens. Alright, so we fucking, we rolled through the end of that season. I don't know what changes we made, but Ben Shinwarinski and starting Carter Hart really seemed to jump us up. We have an 88 team chemistry right now. I don't have any money. Is that, will that be enough to, nope. Well, fuck it, team store is broken. Alright, so what? Do, how do we finish? I don't remember. Either way, we get Nashville in the first round. Let's see. So we finished 46, 27, and 9. That's actually really good considering where we were sitting. We ended up at 101 points, second in the division. 3.35 goals for. 2.7 is a bit high, but it's actually the lowest in the division. That's what I mean. Like, goaltenders really don't make a difference in this right now, it seems. Power play is 23. Penalty kill is 70. Penalty kill could be better. Uh, pretty even. We're 8-1-1 one, one in the last 10. So we're, we're rolling into the playoffs right now. Let's see, that's Patrick Lane, 93 points. Almost 40 goals. We had five player we had four players with 60 points. Panarin at 58, Monahan at 53, Godolbin at 49. So I mean, pretty much if you take Morgan Riley's points and you distribute them in like the second line, they look like a real second line. Uh Patan at 37. Mateau ended up being a plus one with 25 points. So he really turned it around. Connor Brickley had a good year. Callan Foot had a good year. Zach Wierenski still sucks. It's a shame, because I thought that was a good move to bring him in, but he's obviously garbage. Um, aside from that, the team's pretty much... Morgan Riley's a plus 35. Patrick Line ended up being a plus 26. That first line, yeah, I'm going to agree with uh, my finished follower that uh, just struggled at the start of the year when they were minuses. They picked it up, though. Uh, as for goaltenders, I'm assuming Carter Hart took most of the load. He played 14 games, was 10 and 2, but a 175 goals against. Gave up 20 goals in 14 games. Hit one shutout, 935 save percentage. Yeah, we're gonna stick with Carter Hart come playoff time. Uh, I'm interested to see where Patrick Line finished in the Art Ross race. Oops, that's Western Conference. Oh, holy shit! 108, 105, 101, 101, 500 point guys. Jesus, Ovechkin's still pumping out points as a 36 or 36 year old. Line A finished for ninth in points with 93. God damn. Where is it goals wise? <laughs> He's ninth in goals too. Jesus Christ, man. Matthew Pumple had 36 goals. What the fuck? Jakob Brown had 433. He still hasn't progressed though. All right, well, there we go, boys. We're, we're going into playoffs. We get Nashville in round one. I'll look over their team next time, but I think we're... I'm, I have I have faith in this playoff run. I think we're going to be good. Um, wait, before I do that, can I call up somebody? I don't have Godolbin for a week, so I should be able to call somebody up. Damn it, I can't call anybody up. Fuck. I was hoping I could, but I cannot. So we're going to have to leave Orinsky. Can I swap out Orinsky for a forward? Sure, what are these guys? Are they both two way forwards? Oh, he's a playmaker. Oops. Can I make that move? I can. Or Orinsky. Orinsky. Okay, cool. We'll get we'll get him on the right wing, just for the time being. Yeah, and he's a playmaker with a yeah. That's fine. He's only going to be there for a bit. I can best line the AHL, and that's where I'm going to call it. As always, comment your predictions for the first round, taking on the Nashville Predators, a two-three matchup, us being the two, them being the three. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed. And thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.